pulse oximeter is a painless and reliable way to measure a person's blood oxygen levels. It is a tiny device that usually slides over your fingertip. It reports blood oxygen levels via an oxygen saturation measurement called peripheral capillary oxygen saturation or SpO2. A person with COVID-19 can have very low oxygen levels and thus an oximeter can help to monitor your oxygen level as well as the pulse rate of the body. Non-contact temperature assessment devices can be used for both the residents of a particular house and the guests as they can be used to measure a person's temperature without coming in contact with the person. Rapid antigen tests offer a quick and easy way to screen for COVID-19 at home. In about 15 minutes, they detect active infections via a nasal swab including in asymptomatic individuals. Often called rapid tests or at-home COVID tests, these rapid antigen tests can be a valuable tool for managing life during the pandemic. Diabetic patients have been in the spotlight for their increased risk of severe coronavirus outcomes. Health experts say diabetes coupled with COVID may be the reason for the sudden spike in mucormycosis or black fungus infections. So, glucometers available online can help to transfer the readings of blood sugar levels instantly to your smartphones to easily store the data or share it with your doctor. UV or ultraviolet radiation has been shown to destroy the outer protein coating of SARS coronavirus, which is different virus from the current SARS CoV 2 virus, but the destruction ultimately leads to the inactivation of the virus. Oxygen concentrators are simple devices that can take in ambient air and increase the oxygen concentration by filtering out and throwing away nitrogen. They work the same way in supplying oxygen needed by the body such as oxygen tanks or cylinders with the use of a cannula, oxygen masks or nasal tubes. The difference is that while the cylinders need to be refilled, the oxygen concentrators can work 24-7. A nebulizer, which is a machine that turns a liquid into fine mist, typically used to deliver inhaled medication. Many use a home nebulizer for care for the respiratory conditions amid the COVID outbreak. However, you need to be careful as the virus may persist in droplets in the air for one to two hours.